Potter's studio. He's a Manchester-based fashion designer specialising in upcycling vintage clothing like this sick piece I'm wearing right now. And today he's going to be showing me how to make a custom tote bag using this pair of old Carhartt trousers that I never wear, give them a new life and I'm a basic sewer so Marston's going to be doing the work for me. Step one is to grab your block and place it on the top of the trousers. We then cut straight across the leg. Always try to leave some excess fabric just in case you make a mistake. We decided to use the bottom of the leg for the main body of the tote bag as we thought the seam at the bottom of the leg would be perfect for the top of the tote bag. We then cut along one of the side seams and open up the fabric to produce a rectangle piece of fabric which matches the reference piece. This is the first side of the tote bag. So next up we ironed out the fabric to get rid of any creases, this helps ensure straight lines when using the ruler and fabric cutter to cut off the excess fabric. We then place the ruler onto the fabric and use the fabric cutter to cut off all the excess fabric on each of the four sides to produce the first side of the tote bag. Make sure to take your time with this as you want the lines to be as straight as possible and you need the front and back pieces to match up. Repeat the same process using the other trouser leg to produce an identical piece so you're left with two rectangle pieces, one for the front and one for the back of the tote bag. So next up we needed to make the handles for the tote bag. We cut off some fabric from the thigh area of the trousers and compared our fabric to the block. Our pieces of fabric weren't long enough so we had to cut another piece of fabric which will get sewn together with the first piece to create the perfect length for the handle. Once again we used the ruler and fabric cutter to produce clean straight lines so the handles all match in size. We then had a cool idea to take off the back pocket from the trousers with the Carhartt logo and re-stitch it onto the front of the bag to produce a deconstructed look to the tote bag and to produce another functioning pocket. We then used the seam ripper to carefully deconstruct the pocket off the trousers. So right now Marcus is pinning the deconstructed pocket and that's going to be the front side of the tote bag. And we began sewing the pocket onto the toe. Make sure to follow the lines of the pocket to produce accurate lines and try to match the thread to the trousers. We used a khaki green thread. Always make sure to double stitch at the front and the end to ensure the stitching doesn't fall apart. Next up we sewed the handles together making sure to keep the lines as straight as possible. One sick thing about this fabric is it started to fray which gives the handles a unique distressed look. Our final creative idea was to take off the belt loops from the trousers and add them to the top of our tote bag to make the bag look exactly like the back of a pair of Carhartt trousers. We cut off six of the belt loops and sewed three onto each side of the tote bag, making sure to not place the belt loops in a position which would interfere with the tote bag handles. The next stage was to sew the handles onto the bag. Make sure you place the handles on the inside of the bag. We then stitch a rectangle onto the handles and to the bag to make sure it was all secure. We then needed to stitch the front and the back of the bag together, but make sure you place the front and the back piece inside out so facing one another or the bag will be the wrong way round. I can't stress this enough, this is the most important point of the process. Finally, we pinned the pieces together in place and used the overlocker to stitch both sides and the bottom of the bag. An overlocker produces a stronger seam than a normal sew machine, however if you don't own an overlocker you can still sew up both sides and the bottom using a normal sewing machine. Make sure to cut off any excess thread after finishing sewing to produce a clean and professional look. We then finally pull the bag inside out, puff out the bottom corners and you have your final product a DIY custom Carhartt tote bag made from a pair of old trousers.
this is the final Carhartt tote bag. Honestly, it came out so much better than we thought, especially these little belt loops, like the little bit of detail and the distressing on the strap is so sick. So huge shout out to Marcus from Marson. Definitely go check out his work. He does loads of custom pieces. As you can see behind me, sell them for a very good price point and it can even do customs for you lot if you have an idea. Let us know if you want to see more episodes of Thrift Flips and let me know what you want to see next. We're thinking of doing like custom pillows, maybe like the Donda mask from Kanye West. Let me know any suggestions in the comment section down below. Like, rate and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.